that help prepare to go live. This hey. Hey. And setting up your meeting for YouTube. And so we'll be live in a second. Um, I'm not going to try to make it official or anything, any special uh, announcement. I'm just, when it comes on, I'll go off so we don't get the echo. Oh. And we'll start. Yeah, there we are. There, gone. All right. Hi. <laughs> well, I just went live. We're, we're live on YouTube, guys. So don't talk about overthrowing the government or anything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was tried a couple of years ago. It didn't work. <laughs> um, let me tell you, I guess if we want to do no. like what we talk, Bert Backrack died. Mm -hmm. yeah, we all know that. Tom Gilker's not going to be. Steve Saunders, I guess I should, I should expect him tonight because he said he's going to be playing Sunday afternoon, March 5th at the uh, OTR Stillhouse. Oh. So I'll put that in our notes. So we, you know, and if we can go maybe a little Cincinnati contingent, except listen to this. I'll play from four to four forty-five, and then others will. We will be some of Cincinnati's best songwriters will play until eight or six. And I'm going. How come you're not invited? How come I'm not invited? Well, how come Ed's hmm. not invited? How come? What the heck? No, I don't know. Anyway, some of his buddies, I guess, are going to join him. So uh, that's it. Here we are. David Hirschberg and Victor Harrison have a little ditty. And uh, David Hirschberg has two. No, just just one. Blew me away. No, you know what? what? Yeah, you know, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I what, Jason and Ed? What do you got? Uh, nothing uh, this this month. I've got a lot of things that are like almost there, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing right now. Hi, uh, Sander. <laughs> And I I don't know. I might play this scrap that I right. playing with. I it might be good just to have you guys yeah. hear a, a sure. it's a scrap, but uh, that's all right. I'm it. working. Yeah. I just have a verse and I don't know what, what where to go after it. Well it's that's been. good. Maybe we'll have the same kind of project here, Peter. You yeah, know. yeah. Maybe we'll somebody will team up or something. Unfinished here. business here. Yeah, exactly. That's the way it always goes. And Sandra, are you a play for us, won't you? Well, I haven't worked out the, the sound yet. Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. It was okay until last week, whenever you played. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was better than whatever it was last week. I mean, it still wasn't ideal. I was try trying to... I had two uh, a long weekend of performing this past weekend. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sending you, Peter, I'm sending you an email with the lyrics to old folks. Oh, okay. All right. And I'll look at, I can look it up too. Um, let's go. Um, let's do this. There we go. I'm going to, I'm going to take your picture. So smile. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Better be. Everyone's smiling. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's smiling about three or four times. So I'll pick the best one. Um, that's it. I'm ready to go. Um, uh, so that that means only two songs. If um, uh, uh, if uh, Mr. Hirschberg only wants to play one. So. Well, I, I and, and you know, it's got it's got one. Yeah, let's, let's play. You know, we'll do one, and we'll see what we have time for. Yeah, we'll see what we have time because we can play a lot of time on. Uh, I was thinking of starting with Latif's Lafitte's Lafitte's Tango because it's you know kind of crazy and fun. Um, that's a, it's a, a good kickoff. So um, take it away. Let's take this little. Any other news? No, nothing other. Going you want some context so it doesn't. doesn't yeah, go ahead, Victor. Victor. Well, you know what? Didn't we didn't we say um, play it raw? Give us context and play it again. That was Sounds David good. Yeah, good idea. Good? good idea. Well, you know, that was right. for me. That doesn't actually apply to everyone. No, so it speaks okay. for itself. But uh, you know, kind of, if you want context, I'm happy to. Yeah, let's go, and then we'll go back over it. Okay. Um, and Peter Lloyd is going to. Um, Go to uh, share screen and uh, put on sound and do let's use some share and go. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Want some candy, need some stuff Have a snort, take a puff Pick a sis, trans girl, boy Try this slinky little toy Like it sticky, take it sweet In Big Easy, ask Lafitte In Big Easy, ask Lafitte Like it sticky, take it sweet The name is Lafitte I bark on the street The name is Lafitte I bark on the street Come right in, take a chance Step right up, see the all-naked dance There's no cover tonight Up the stairs, to the right It's Lafitte's guarantee What's to lose when it's free? Am I sleaze? I smell smut There's no ifs, ands, or buts The name is Lafitte I work the street The name is Lafitte I bark on the street It's such a pleasure to meet Welcome to Bourbon Street <laughs> Okay Let's, uh, I'll stop the share with see the word lyrics again What's the story, Victor? I love it Well, first of all, let's get some Just cold Oh, okay Hard, um, cold you know, feedback. it's sexy. It's, I mean, well, first of all, I don't, that, that's not, I mean, tangos are sexy. And, mm-hmm. and, 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 uh, yeah, David Hirschberg, whoever did the music really made it sexy. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, even look like the little accordion in there too, that, uh, it's really good. But what, what a funny way to it, add a neat beat to a, uh, to a tango. I've never heard that before. And it, it surprisingly goes well. What? The, te- the accordion? The, well, I was going to say the beat with the tango uh, yeah. actually meshes very well. And I thought yeah, yeah. kind of the, the accordion there was, was you know, just the icing on top. Yeah, yeah. And that's a tr- that's a traditional tango instrument, the mm-hmm. accordion. Yeah. yeah. Gypsy. Gypsy. Yeah. yeah. Gypsy. Um, uh, I mean, it's uh, gutsy. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, it's uh, it's sec- it's sleazy without being pornographic i mean it's you know i love it. it's sticky and sweet and um you know and take a chance naked dance yeah very edgy yeah it's yeah it's, it's edgy fun edgy it's you yeah, who yeah. can yeah who can who can be disgusted it's not it's uh, <laughs> i mean it's sweet yeah yeah it was fun to sing yeah yeah i bet yeah Performing it. How how much is written the way it was written, and what did you have in mind when you wrote the lyrics without music, David or Victor? But did you have music in mind? Or what going? What, exactly, he hit it on the mark. Oh, did you have? Did you have? Oh no, I didn't write any music. These were just lyrics only. Wow. There's a few songs in this musical I've written. Mm-hmm. Of, you know, I sketched out. Called Satchmo's Wake, and and mm-hmm. uh, one of the songs. Some of the songs have music. Some of the songs were just lyrics. And this was one that I I wrote a long time ago, and I've always wanted to to uh, hear music with it. So I presented it to uh-huh. David, and whammo, abracadabra, there it was. Yeah, <laughs> it's masterful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and how did the tango enter? You know, the equation here, because from those lyrics, I, I would never have taken it at that angle. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh, the title is Lafitte's Tango. So that's why. So I did hear a tango. Okay. So I, visual, <laughs> I visualized that we're you know in, in the in the play or in the musical how it would work and where it would work and you know so. Yeah, because when I saw the I saw the lyrics first when you sent it, I said, okay, I'll look at these lyrics because I was on my didn't have my you know sound. I just had a phone and I want some want some can need some. How are you going to make a song out of this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just. <laughs> I go what have a take what pick a cis trans and you know it, it didn't uh, lend itself immediately in my mind to a beat or a thing. Yeah. So, so actually, the fact that uh, it, it was a very easy song to write in from a music perspective because first of all, virtually I think every instrument in there was a sample: the piano sample, the accordion sample, the electronic mm -hmm. stuff is. The um, horn? How did you do the, the waver? The horns, the horn? yeah, there's, it's through on logic. It's, okay. It's, wow. you can mess with articulation and, wow. and attack and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but, the, you know, the words, I did very little with the words on that song mm -hmm. because it just sort of fell. And the fact that it was a tango made it just like, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So, Wonderful. Yeah. It was good. It was funny. Anything else we want to say before we play it again? I mean, I think this is, uh, I mean, uh, um, yeah. Victor, I actually have a question for you. Where, how does it fit into the play? Good. Who is this Lafitte guy? Well, Lafitte is the villain. So the name of the play, this is the, this is the, I did a PowerPoint presentation. It's called Satchmo's Wake. It's basically, um, I wrote it after Katrina. And I visualized this story about a group of people and characters in New Orleans who are trying to rebuild, and re you know, that's why it's called the wake, you know. Mm -hmm. It's uh, trying to rebuild the city and, and there's a lot of corruption and there's you know, a lot of crazy characters and it's happening mostly in, around the French Quarter, which is a great milieu for just about any, any kind of musical kind of a story or event. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I scoped out the story and one of the characters, the villain is Lafitte. One of the villains is Lafitte. And he's, you know, amongst all these characters that are also, you know, they intermingle, get along with, fight with, carry on with in the French Quarter. And I just thought, you know, we needed a villain and we needed a character and I came up with Lafitte. You got and a pun, I'm sorry. There's a built-in pun. Can Lafitte dance? He's got oh, two. Yeah. He got yeah, two he's, in of, he's a barker. He's in front of a strip club. He's in front of a strip club. Yeah. He's, he's, but he's got two left feet. That's right. Yeah, two he's got two left feet. Yeah, I am feet. so glad that didn't occur to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, dance. He it's dance. worse than my tinnitus. And all that <laughs> stuff occurs to me. Yeah, but in the, in, the, in the actual show, he's in front of the, the strip club and he's singing the song. He's got all these characters mm -hmm. you know, doing tangos and dancing around and, you know, People passing by. So he's a boss. Actually, I thought he's it was a girl. Him. I thought it was a woman. No. no, no I, yes, Everybody yes. think it was a woman or a man? I thought man. it was a woman. A man. The feet. Well, like a wolf. I mean, David, that's why he put those howls in there. He's kind of like a you know, a wolf. Uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. Big bad wolf in the in the play. Yeah. He barks huh. on the street. He's a dog too. He's a, dog, <laughs> wolf, dog. It's a bird dog. Yeah, it's a different yeah, dog. Kind of a dog that looks like a wolf. A barker. A wolfhound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. It was fun. So, yeah, no, I thought, uh, well, I don't, I don't need to say anymore. Just play it again. And uh, that, that's basically the, the context. All right. Let's do it. I, by the way, I, I, Walter right. Cram paid me a visit last oh, week. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. They're, they're bringing, oh. talking about New Orleans. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you anyhow. I mean, tonight because you know everyone knows Walter, but this was a great intro. I couldn't help but segue into that. <laughs> let's go after we play it. Let's talk a second about how he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, he was here a couple of years ago. Yeah, I did a, a concert. Yeah, did a uh, share, and the feet. Where are you? Audio. There it is. <laughs> 
Want some candy, need some stuff Have a snort, take a puff Pick a sis, trans girl, boy Try this slinky little toy Like it sticky, take it sweet In big easy, ask Lafitte In big easy, ask Lafitte Like it sticky, take it sweet The name is Lafitte I bark on the street The name is Lafitte I bark on the street Come right in and take a chance Step right up, see the all-naked dance There's no cover tonight Up the stairs is to the right It's Lafitte's guarantee What's to lose when it's free? Am I sleaze? I smell smut There's no ifs, ands, or buts The name is Lafitte I work the street The name is Lafitte I bark on the street It's such a pleasure to meet Welcome to Bourbon Street Yeah uh, David, a very, very uh, s- s- uh, sensual, seductive uh, voice uh, execution there Yeah, yeah very, very, very expressionistic very- very expressionistic. Very, very I, you know, I said those, those were all samples. I, what I meant to say is those were all loops, which is a little more interesting in that it was kind of a ready-made song. But thank you. Okay. I, I specialize, little, please, by the way. Go ahead. Your little uh, trick, uh, come upstairs to the right and audio went to uh, the right. Thank you very much. I had to do that. I'm sorry. Of course. <laughs> You know, I had the wolf howl. I, had the dog I mean, I felt, you know, I pictured myself going up the stairs and then to the right and then <laughs> going over here on the right. Yeah, that was nice. That was so nice. I, played it, I played it for most of, so, several of us, all of you know, my friend Mark Rasmussen. Oh, yeah. I'm still in touch with him. So I played it for him a couple of weeks ago and he really liked it. But you know what he said he liked the most? The solo. What? The solo. Solo? What solo? The, the the trumpet the trumpet, trumpet solo trumpet. yeah, yeah cool. well he's a it's great he's those a, trills I don't know how you got those trills in there and you know those just the expression of that you know how it breaks into that solo and just <clears throat> takes yeah. off it's great yeah. wonderful does wonderful. he play the horn or just woodwinds he plays the horn yeah yeah that play the horn oh, oh, oh that that I didn't know yeah that's yeah. what he does he does what he does you know nursing homes and stuff like that he's yeah. a one man show and he sings. But he and he's got a percussion stuff behind him. But he plays an electronic kind of a it looks like a kind of a clarinet, clarinet, yeah. clarinet and a soprano sax. Yeah. It's digital. It's a digital instrument. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he's got quite a quite an opera quite a, a little stick he's got going on there. For yeah, that. and he's got a lot of uh, equipment. Yeah, well, I went to see one of them. Yeah, yeah, you should go watch him sometime. It's pretty funny. I've seen him. Yeah. 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 Well, in any yeah, case, he really liked the solo. I did too. Funny. But it was nice to hear somebody else. Give their impression of what they mm-hmm. the songs, you know, what they like about the song. Ed, sure. So say what's so much fun about I mean, it's it evokes a lot of imagination, but it, it really feels wonderfully theatrical. It is know? a show too. It's a show it's too. So easy to see it on stage. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. I mean, if you're walking down Bourbon Street, even if there was a little band out front with Lafitte, <clears> but it's, it's mm-hmm. very evocative imagery. Uh, well, we've got a couple of others we're working on from the show, and uh, they're in, they're in progress, and maybe we'll unveil them next week or, or next month, next or month, month yeah. or whatever. 
So Not to know the old yeah. Do you see that's a performance piece staged? Like it's a, yeah, as I said, it's a it's play. play. It's a musical. Satchmo's Wake. It is a musical. It says a musical celebrating the rebirth of New Orleans. That's what the theme is. Oh, it's on. It it's on one page, huh? Yeah. No, no, that's just the cover. It's, like, it's, all, it's, it's a really it's, short one. Yeah, so like, you can see all the musicians. That's it. That's the one act. Mean, that's you know, that's one one song. Song. Yeah. You need someone to, to fill out the story and write the book. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Lots of music and lots of stuff, but no, no, the stories needs work. But it's you know got a bunch of characters, a bunch of songs, so it's, it's it is a story, it is a play, a musical. Is there a spoken dialogue? Uh, well, I haven't that, don't have the what dialogue yet. I've got the I've got the you know, the plot, the characters, mm -hmm. uh, at least the beginning, you know, I've got the, a sketch of the plot. That's what needs work and, and the development of the, of the characters yeah. and the dialogue yeah. and the story. A lot. This, a book need, the book needs to be written, yeah, but I've got the, you know, some ideas. Well, if mm -hmm. the characters all have the same kind of quality as this one, you got a, a great... Uh, we got a few, yeah. don't we, Dave? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, the, the, the characters, the, other, the, the ones I'm working on, character is pretty well developed i mean that you know when the words are that compact in a, from my perspective and they draw that much of a picture of the character it's really easy to write the music to yeah. it um and that that one was that was great that was fun to do i i'm i don't think i went through it more than once or twice before i ended up with exactly what we ended up with yeah. wow it was that easy yeah, yeah it was very easy. nice it was very fun. nice anyway, yeah. i have a theatrical image in my mind you know how music comes out of every door and every on bourbon street right the musicians Ooh. should be spread out blowing outside just outside the, <laughs> the door of the where they're working just right. one at, you know one at a time creating the band right yeah. just move down the, the street with the music. and with the stage you know with moving moving sets they could do that with moving sets you know in the background yep yeah. You know, yeah, there's a lot of room for growth. You know, a, we've got some really good characters and some pretty good music already. But um, you know, we'll share it with you as time goes by. Oh, uh, you know, looks so looking forward to it. We got, we got a couple others in the. We're going to live forever. We're going to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> got to, got to. Either, <laughs> either before we, either, when we write it, or, you know. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I sent you a, a photograph of Walter. Oh yeah. Oh, did you? And uh, I sent the word to see him. Okay, good, 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 good. I good. saw. Was that Stu on? In, do you have Instagram, Sandy? Did no. You see no. That? Stu Levy's daughter posted a bunch of stuff on Instagram, and there was a picture. That's true. Of, I think there was a picture of Stu. Was was that Stu sitting there on that log? He looked like an old mountain man. Is oh, this, oh uh, Stu, uh, Stu would have put. Stu. He would have probably put that. So Stu sat on the log. It's a, he was he was doing his version of a, a, a Imogen Cunningham photograph of her 90 year old father or something oh, like that. Okay, so but that was the same pile of wood, but but Stu, I don't know which one he sent you. He's, so well, I, you know, it was that a, one. What okay. a great photo! Yeah. Oh my God! I'm going to yeah. see if I can bring it up on my phone so I can show it to you. Oh, I'm sharing it here right now in a second. The one with Walter Stu still performing? No, there? Walter. Walter. Walter's coming up. Stu can come up. I'm sure he sent Stu or, or she sent her father. You know, uh, Sarah sent Stu. So he, he sent them both to me. One, the original, which I happen to have in a, in a book of Imogene Cunningham. You guys see it? Hold on, I'll get it. I, I'll have it shared here in a second. Well, this isn't Walter. This is Stu. Oh, I'm you know, sorry. This is the picture of Stu Levy. It's too, it? it's too white. Yeah, it, it's unbelievable. It, it, it is, it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. Aha! Uh -huh. here's, here's Walter. That's his guitar, too. Wow. Big guitar. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Walter. Oh, is man, he doesn't look that different. No, no. That white hair. But he's not walking. He wasn't walking very well when I was. No, no, he's, he's full-time rolling walker at this point. Yeah. You know, yeah. Look at those uh, knuckles. He yeah, he's getting, he's playing some, he's got some arthritis. Yeah. Yeah. He's, and, and he's, he's still with Susan. Is she still around? No, 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 no. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Long time His ago. wife's name is Carolyn 
and she's a whiz bang. She's great with oh, him. Wonderful. And, and she sings. What was she um, doing down in Phoenix? Plays what bass. Was she doing her, oh, she's got a sister who lives out in Apache Junction, which is where yeah. my daughter lives. It's uh, yeah. the US 60, about 40, 40 minutes east of here. Yeah. So. So Peter, I just sent you that picture, texted you that picture of Stu. I don't oh, know if okay. you can bring it up or not. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to do it today if you don't want, but I just think it's such a great no, picture. And we got a lot of time who, this time. Those of you who know you Stu. See it, you see the words from this old folk song? Different different email. Oh, no, not, not yet, but hold on. Is I'm, Walter I'm still performing? The, I'm doing the picture right now. Sandy, is, is Walter still performing? No. He can't play, actually. No. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, he was a crusty yellow character. Great stories, too. Yeah. 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 Great, great, great performer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? The picture you sent me in the chat, I can't. Uh, oh, it's Instagram, so that you can't do it with Instagram. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, here's what I can do, though. I can do this. It's not as, it won't be as that big, but... Oh no, it does expand. Okay, let's do this. Let me share this then. It's not that important. Sharing. I just thought I'm sharing you know, that. It's just Start a great sharing. picture. So is Stu's daughter a photographer too, Sandy? No, she's a painter. Yeah. That's Stu. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. a great picture. Uh, if I tell you a quick thing about this New Orleans stuff that you're talking about. Okay. You guys remember Ronnie Soul? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I learned Michael Murphy's Lights of the City from him. Oh. And, uh, Michael Murphy's going to be at uh, the Ludlow Garage on the 10th of March, hmm. in case any of you have any interest. Okay. He, he played there umpteen years ago, didn't he? Ronnie Soul? Or Michael Murphy. No, no, Michael Murphy. He was, yeah, I met him one time when he was someplace around here in town. Because that right. song of his was always my favorite of his, and it became a real, a real hit in the church music world. You want no, to go on to? I don't think I'll be able to make it. Uh, okay. I'll let you know. Eileen and I are going to go. He's gotten a ton of awards. I didn't realize he was so famous. Hmm. You want yeah. to go? Which one do you want to go with if you want to do just one, Mr. Uh, Hirschberg? But, um, if we're going to do just one, let's do uh, You Don't Know. Okay. Uh, I'd be happy to do two, though. But um, okay, yeah. if we have time to do one, you know, I just don't want to show off. Too, too <laughs> obviously, oh, no. you love the show. Yeah. Every musician, songwriter, is a show off. I mean, that's what we do. We li we live for approval, right? Yeah. <laughs> do we? Do we? <laughs> my whole life, my whole life's been wasted. <laughs> okay, let's go here. We're ready to go and uh, share screen. And uh, you don't know. And play. Like the wings of the butterfly, you change the world. You don't know how and cannot see how the future will unfurl. Everything you touch, everyone you touch, all the air that you will move. All these things you touch, you don't know you touch, still in motion after you. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. You just don't know Not just baby mom Not your daughter Not your son Not your oldest enemy 
But everything, everyone you don't know You just don't know The chicken, the fish The eyes of the cow The bug under your foot Even the rock can't hide you now Cinnamon, you don't You don't You don't know You don't know You don't know You just don't know You don't know You don't know You don't know You just don't know Everything is something Something, everything Nothing is still something Something your next breath may bring Every thought you think, every word you speak All the air that you will breathe All the trash you make, all the love you shape Still in motion when you leave You don't know You don't know You don't know You just don't know You don't know You don't know You don't know You just don't know Like the wings of the butterfly What about that, huh? Whoa. Uh, Hefty. Uh, that power thing is uh, just, uh, I don't know how you did that, but that was great. And I like uh, the- I'll tell you in a minute. Let's, uh, we can, but, okay. Yeah, we- um, um, Well, I mean, it's the butterfly effect, right? And, and yeah. um, um, the, the repetition of you don't know is, um, uh, it's a very obvious line. I mean, it's, it's the core obvious line, but the repetition, <laughs> doesn't bother me i mean it's uh it, it drives it really drives it home i, oh, I, I it's like it hook. It's the hook. yeah so yeah 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 that's good yeah it's a good yeah. i like the i like the um the way you use different rhythms in this rotation oh my the rhythms are out of this interesting what's going on in the background it's not just too, too so much linear. variety mm -hmm. yeah it had like a very like almost 80s sort of feel to it to me in a good way you know uh that that background and it, it just had that drive to it just kept going and i also agree that uh you know that you don't know it's just it, it's not overdone so mm -hmm. it's a good job because like i think oh, when you yeah. can say something over and over again and it still feels right mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's also a good sign mm -hmm. yeah. oh, sorry. go ahead um, well, so the backs i'm sorry are you gonna say something uh, yeah repetition on and on really uh i think highlights the the ponderousness of that you don't know you know it's, mm. it's, it really deserves tons mm -hmm. of contemplation and you still don't know mm -hmm. yeah you put up the lyrics if you don't that yeah it really feels like the, the way it drives it um mm -hmm. i think there's a a little bit of a hypnotic effect. Yes, yes, it is a, a bit of a state changing effect, like a, a meditative uh, repetition might have. It's like it just keeps coming back and forth in rhythm, and so that's uh, really very effective. Is I guess the word I would want to use. Mm -hmm. I was impressed at how you your entry when you enter the lyrics. Like you know, you don't know what beat it comes in on is. I, I mean, if you tap your foot, you know what where you are. But if you're listening to the rhythms, like it's kind of like, where am I? You know, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, and the entries are very, very, very smart. Yeah, I think. Can you can you bring up the lyrics a little bit? Because I want I like this. I like the uh, 
Where do you want to go down lower? Or what? Right there, right there. I like the everything is something, everything is ever, something, everything, nothing is still something, something your next breath may bring. I like those. And then the, every thought you think, every word you speak, all the air that you will breathe, all the trash you make, all the love you shape, still in motion when you leave. That is a great, that's a great little um, verse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. verses. So Wait, here's the backstory. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't want to get, go ahead and say something. Um, I, you or somebody else? Go ahead, Ed. Whoever was whoever I interrupted. Talk. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I don't I think, think I was. was I was saying something, but go ahead. Uh, okay. But uh, I was only just going to to repeat too is that I I think Ed was right. It really does become hypnotic in those lyrics. Really, you know what's nice is that you're allowed to kind of disconnect from the word when you listen to it in a way where it still feels right in the voice and and. Uh, I think that was that was really neat, and and a, it's a really good marriage of the the soundtrack king that uh, created that, that goes with it. It can be played in a club. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But anyway, that's that's all it's, I wanted to say. It's syncopated. It's syncopated. It's you know. It's, and it's people would sing it with you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. That's right. Yeah. That's the part, yeah. the part we could sing, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it started, it actually started life as a, a chant. That was the way I wanted to start mm. the song. That's, you know, that's, how I, that's how I originally envisioned it, as a chant. But I had too many different pieces I wanted to try and get in there. So, uh, it, well, actually, the other thing was when I was thinking of a chant, I was thinking of Nina Simone's Sea Line Woman. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that song. Sure, it's, that song. Yeah. it's a it's a very driving beat. And I use it actually a couple of times in the song. I think I start the song with it. And I think it's kind of at the end. It's actually in there or singing it. Um, or, you know, it's from a recording. And um and that so once I thought of Sea Lion Woman, I, I don't know how I ended up with Sinner Man. Mm. Well, I can look at the words and see, but that reminded me of uh the Nina Simone song Sinner Man. And um the phrase that she sang in there was power. Oh. So that's where that came Ooh. from. So that's Nina Simone and me. Wow. Mm -hmm. really? um, that's not, that's not great combination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the, the backstory her. here. Yeah. The backstory of this song is I was working at a forensic hospital and one of my patients was a really very talented visual artist in his 30s, longtime girlfriend, two kids, but he had a persistent substance abuse problem, which was always kind of indirectly responsible for getting him back there. Um, he was nearing his discharge time. We were meeting and, you know, he said that he pretty much felt like he'd made a mess of his life and didn't think there was much he could do to, to change it maybe stay sober, maybe, but, you know, we had a difficult time with that. And um, he just couldn't really had a difficult time seeing a future that wasn't like a constant struggle, struggle or, um, you know, just trying to stay afloat and he couldn't figure out, you know, he, it was, he was sort of, he was on meds, but he was still kind of depressed thinking his life really didn't matter. And so I wish I had thought of this song at that time, but after I had a chance to, to think about it, this is probably what I would have said to him. So that that is that is the story of the song. Mm -hmm. um, is he still around? Or and he, he hurt himself. Uh, he was discharged. I don't know. I yeah. I don't work there anymore. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, he was just so overwhelmed by by what he had to do just to keep it together, mm -hmm. and uh, so. You know, I, I tried to, I was thinking I could say pull yourself up by your bootstraps, but that probably isn't going to work. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. 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 You can smile. make it. You just get, just think positive, you know. Yeah, right. Always look on the bright side of life. You know. <laughs> right. Watch my mate. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, there are two really uh, very different kind of meanings that i get from the you don't know mm. one is it's like the uh, friend of mine who met this japanese zen teacher who didn't speak much english and the whole uh, theme of the weekend was practice don't know practice don't know mm -hmm. 
Because um, we don't. There's so much stuff we don't know, especially if, if we're bothered by the future and whatnot. But the other other meaning that I was struck by was that we don't know the impact that we have on people. Mm -hmm. uh, and it can be good or ill, right. but we're always having some sort of impact and getting awareness of that uh, can be really important sort of in good and healthy, respectful living. Uh, but it mm -hmm. takes a lot of waking up to, to pay attention That's... to all those people that you would be in relationship, like your lists, and everything that you have done or are doing, or all the stuff you mm -hmm. don't know that's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. That's portrayed yeah. in about Schmidt. Remember? You, you yeah. remember? Okay. Yeah. Is that the Jack Nicholson? Movie? Nicholson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I won't. I'm gonna do the. Time, but it's that's I'm well. That. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Thank you. It's it's really really well done. Yeah. Well, should we roll it again? Yeah. Uh, do you want to see the lyrics? Oh, the, oh, the lyrics are there. Okay, here yeah. we go. Like the wings of the butterfly, you change the world. You don't know how and cannot see. How the future will unfurl Everything you touch, everyone you touch All the air that you will move All these things you touch, you don't know you touch Still in motion after you You don't know You don't know You don't know You just don't know not just baby mom, not your daughter, not your son, not your oldest enemy, but everything, everyone you don't know, you just don't know. The chicken, the fish, the eyes of the cow, the bug under your foot, even the rock can't hide you now, cinnamon. You don't. You don't. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you just don't know. Everything is something, something, everything. Nothing is still something, something your next breath may bring. Every thought you think. Every word you speak, all the air that you will breathe, all the trash you make, all the love you shape, still in motion when you leave. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you just don't know, you don't know. Like the wings of the butterfly Still in motion when you leave. I love that line. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. yeah and I have a question uh, for you, David. Is that a like a flanger on a guitar that I hear like particularly in the beginning? It was a guitar with an effect through Logic Pro. Okay. It was a flanger, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was one chord. That song was one chord. That was, I'd always wanted to write a chord with one, uh, one song with yeah. one chord in it. Yeah. Um, and that just sort of happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I really like yeah. that effect. I think that, that drum, that drum that. beat, this, you know, it was great. Yeah. The drummer really would have to work hard on that song. <laughs> you're performing <laughs> so, so, so would be tired after that song every uh, guitar teacher should say let's start with this song <laughs> one chord <laughs> I was going to call it bioface so what key is it in what key is it in E minor E minor like bioface E E minor <laughs> Hmm. E, e is in yeah. Edward. Yeah. Is this final phase in E minor? Mm -hmm. E is in everything. Yeah, it sounded familiar to me when I played it. That's uh, <laughs> that's why I, I, that, that sounded there's familiar. No, there's <laughs> absolutely no modulation in the song. There's no change, no other chord change. Just all E minor. There's no change. No chord yeah. changes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Lots uh, of other stuff. Before we go on to maybe another song or end it. Um, How's tell me about do we do we hear enough about Walter? I'm just uh, curious. Well, I know you told us he's sitting, he's done, he's went, his wife, yeah, okay. He, he's he's on the road. He's going to spend. He says, they spend the uh, the summers in um, uh, Wisconsin, uh, near Eau Claire, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. um, and he spent and they're and they they came out. To, they're driving. They left here and they they're on the way to Florida. On the so, way to Florida. Yeah. And then they'll go back up. He, she went, came out to see her sister. Oh. They where leave they, tomorrow. Where do they go in Florida? On the West Coast? Hmm. I forget now. I have a whole f bunch of friends that live on the West Coast. Hmm. <laughs> Danny Morgan is the most Southern. Does he, <laughs> does, he live, does he live in the West? Does he live in Florida now? Danny does? Dan, Danny lives on Sanibel. You know, oh, yeah. the Sherry Glazer. Santa Bell's wiped out. Yeah. yeah, but his house didn't get wiped out because it was elevated eight feet. Wow. What got wiped <laughs> out was his Porsche and his, and his, uh, and his uh, uh, sound sound equipment and some artwork uh, uh, and, and his apartment uh, down there. It had six feet of water in it. Uh, but not one thing on a shelf was disturbed. Wow. No, no glasses, no books. <laughs> it was like it went under his house. Well, it did go under his house. Big under his house. Okay. So where, where is Sherry Glazer? She's up in St. Petersburg. David yeah. Pomerantz is around there also. And that's, uh, the, that's the uh, area where we usually go, right in there. And my uh, in-law from uh, uh, Susan, when I was married to Susan, John, John Shudy, um uh, he he and his wife uh, live uh, also in a uh, in a small town, just, uh, uh, like on the other side of the cove from from uh, St. Pete, I think. But then on that side of the, you know, the the state. Yeah. You know. So uh, Jorma Kukonen, you know, from the Jefferson Airplane, has got that Ferg Peace Ranch up in uh, near Athens. Did you know that, Sandy? Where is it? Near Athens, Athens, Ohio. Athens, yeah. Okay. So he's got this thing he's had for years called. He calls it the Fur Peace Ranch, and I just learned about it. And he has, you know, a lot of old folkies and you know blues guys and songwriters. Just songwriter of mecca, mm. and he's got all kinds. Of, I've sent it to Peter to, to post so you guys can see. It. Anybody familiar with it? You know who Jeremy mm -hmm. Kukonen is, right? He was the, the guitarist for the Jefferson Airplane. So he's from. I guess he's from Ohio. And he's settled there, and he's got this big songwriting kind of confab. Oh, yeah. There. yeah. And, and they've got workshops and concerts. And um, Sounds every, like fun. Every, every winter, he has, a, he has a songwriting workshop in Sanibel. Oh, wow. Well, good luck to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was canceled this year. No, it's not. It's not. I just, it's, you know, I get, I, I, I signed up for his mailing list and everything. So I get stuff from him all the time. And so I saw the last um, newsletter said we're, we're going to be able to hold our songwriting. Wow, that's great. Retreat. 
um, in Sanibel you know, next month or something. I asked Danny about work for him, and he said he's never been mm. busier. Oh, that's good. He said a lot of things have gone full circle, and, it, and he actually books some clubs and plays in other ones. Huh. They're very interesting. Huh. That's good. Well, see what a, what a hurricane can do, huh? <laughs> yeah. well, it's a re- that's a really nice. And story. you're writing about Katrina, you know, and we're talking about this monster that just hit. Anyhow, yeah. hey, um, uh, does Jason, Ed or Jason want to go, or do another uh, Hirschberg? <laughs> I don't know. Like... I don't know if I'm going to go. This, this, all this sophisticated stuff is making crap. <laughs> <laughs> we need you. Yeah. We need you. Yeah. At least to encourage you to continue it anyway. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll, I'll just play these few bars and, and give you some ideas of the. Scrap. Okay. Hey, Victor, you need more light on your face. Look at you. Oh, uh, it got it got darker as the, when yeah. I started. So, uh, yeah. how's that? Yeah. There's our man. There he yeah. is. Yeah. Lights, action, yeah. <laughs> hammer. Yeah. Ed could use a little more light too, but. I, you know, I kind of liked it. I saw myself as kind of the dark. I thought I looked kind of mysterious. Uh, I'm always in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> you had that really bright backlighting, so you just kind of look like a shadow there. Yeah. The shadow knows. All right, here goes. This is the sort of the accompaniment, and the melody pro- pretty much follows that. <laughs> I'm going to have my ears checked. So, yeah, am I not hearing it? No, I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing, not hearing, it. We're not hearing, hearing the it. sound on your uh, computer. Yeah, your voice is lower than most of the other ones, too. I can't hear this guitar. Mm-hmm. You can't hear the guitar? No. 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 Huh. What do I need to do? Bare, bare, I can barely hear it. Yeah. Can you turn up your microphone somehow? Um. I can turn on my, let's see, how do I do that? Nothing I can do on this end. Yeah, it just sounds like your microphone's really turned down. What mic are you using? The, the, the built into your laptop or? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you yeah, might still be able to go in and, and access the uh, the volume level of the microphone. Yeah. I, I don't know where that is. Is it a Mac? Yeah. F, F12 might, I mean, that's your output, but I'm. Yeah, let me see. Uh, I think it's just your output. Though. I don't know if that one. I'm not sure how to find it. And I don't know. I think I can waste. Well, you, your voice sounds louder now, but I guess that's because you're leaning. He leaned over. into it. Yeah. So maybe I just get a little closer and see what happens. Yeah. yeah try that. Come a little bit closer. Can you hear that? Barely, yeah. yeah, but not loud. Well, okay. Uh, I'm hearing like a flute or something. What's that? Yeah, like a it was like a TV program in the background. Nothing going on in the house that I know of. <laughs> Sandy keeps leaving. Maybe his TV's on. No, no I, I don't have a TV, but like um, I do have the like classical music station on. Oh, is it still coming through? I hear a little. Yeah. Stuff. Well, you can just you can just mute while he's playing. It. That'll help. Or I can Play mute it. you. Yeah. Any better? No, not for me. No, not here. All right, let's save it. All right. Let's skip it. Maybe we can we can record it and play it for us next time. Yeah. 
I'll try that. And maybe I'll have the words go better with it then. There you go. Your assignment for next time, should you accept, is... <laughs> So the song, the the uh, the melody, it goes. It's about a, a river. So the river, the river is rising. Da, 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 da. And then I got a whole bunch of different options about that, and weather and environment and stuff like that. And it also has a a beginning. So it, it's partially a, a song about. Um, it's a song about grief and it's a song about uh, environment. And uh, one of the, the, the last parts that came back is it's uh, a stack of sad pictures nailed to the wall. They color the landscape inside my skull. The paint from those drawings seeps down to my heart, distills to a feeling that runs out my eyes like mist from the skies, oh. causing rivers to rise. Nice. Oh. So, mm -hmm. well, those are great lyrics. Mm -hmm. All right. Work and I feel like they're, they're starting to come along. Yeah. So yeah. I hope I'll have more next time we get together. And I'll see if I can figure out something about that. Sounds good. OK. Yeah. Thank you. Unusual that we can hear your voice so well and hear like a little, yeah. you know, the, the guitar. Distorts or something. And yeah. Yeah. Go on. Okay. Yeah. The world's quietest guitar. <laughs> <laughs> While my guitar silently weeps. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, well, I'm ready for another Hirschberg. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I heard yeah. it. I love it. And um, come on, Mr. Shy, Mr. Uh, no, don't want go ahead. So, <laughs> you know, I, I only, you know, so far, no one said anything bad about any of my stuff. So I can try another one. <laughs> we'll see if we can't get some bad out of this. Huh? Yeah. We'll all, all, right, is, all right, buddy. <laughs> guy, put on your no. critic hat. Put on your critic hat, everybody. Here we go. All right. And it's called A Curious Way. That's all I'm going to tell you because that's all I know. And. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows what the hell's going the on. The trouble I've seen. <laughs> and where is it? And where's the music player? Right here. Here we go. A curious way to go through life. A curious way to go through life. It's a curious way. Paint a line on the floor To see where it leads, then follow Just follow Paint another and then Keep on again and again Till you find yourself in a corner and you're out of floor But you find a hidden door A curious way to go through life A curious way to go through life It's a curious way Make a wish on a cloud Toss the kite in the air And follow Just follow Watch it take wing Keep a loose hold of the string It flutters and it hovers you try to keep it in the air The winds blow it everywhere A curious way to go through life A curious way, a curious way to go through life It's a curious way You 
or my image reversed I am the other side of you we follow But don't follow We crawl or fly without goal No lines or strings for control Connected at the core We found a hidden door How is the mystery A curious way to go through life A curious way, a curious way to go through life It's a curious way It's a curious way, it's a curious way Bravo, bravo. Mm -hmm. You're a master, David. That's, um, those are things I've been thinking about lately too. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just watching the scientists talk about there's no such thing as free will. She proves it in kind of a logical way and, and realizing I'm so much better when I just realize that I'm on a ride. I, I <laughs> control so very little of what's going on. And, uh, paint a line, follow it, fly it. Yeah, perfect, perfect images. You know, it really brought back a memory to me is when I was a kid growing up in New York. My mom took me down to Greenwich Village to a, a little theater there. She had to walk down the stairs. It was like a tenement building with you know, a bunch of retail stores surrounding it. And we walked into this little theater, probably sat about 25, 50 people, and we saw the Fantastics. Oh. <laughs> I knew what you were going to say. It sounded that's just what, like you. That's, what <laughs> that's, that's, what, yeah. that's, that's the memory it brought back to me. And I said, that would be a song. I, I, you know, that would be part of that show, or stylistically, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Follow, that's, follow, that's follow. That's very interesting. There is a that's, follow line. There's a follow line. Here. Yeah, there yeah. is. Follow, follow, yeah. try to remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but that's a really interesting connection because for some reason that musical comes up every now and then you know it's in my brain you know mm -hmm. uh i remember first seeing it at playhouse in the park in cincinnati when i was right. a kid mm -hmm. um and uh yeah so that's th th thank you for that connection for me hmm. that, was, that was that was your yearly money maker was the fantastic at the playhouse really mm -hmm. yeah and they play, and they started it in the playhouse, the small little black the shelter, ha the shelter house, the shelter house. The shelter house. That's right. Yeah. You know now they're now they've expanded that, and, and now the they, that Mark's theater was made, and then now something else is happening there. Oh, they got a big expansion going on there. We were just there a couple of months ago, and, and it was unbelievable what yeah, was going cool. on there. We drove up there. It's got a great reputation. Yeah. Good, good. So you know. Well, you know, I think the guy, the, the, the original director of the Fantastics was the Worth, director Worth, of Playhouse the Park at some point in the 70s. I can't remember Worth, his name. Worth, Worth Brooks Gardner. Jones. Worth Gardner. Brooks Jones. No, no, no. Brooks Jones? Yes. Was it? Was yes. It? it was Brooks Jones? Yes. Yeah, yeah the other name. I, I remember, I remember Worth Gardner. Yeah. I was at Playhouse in the yeah, Park. I did. That was a... I represented the playoffs in the park. They put me in a comedy to the art costume battalion with a flume with a big thing on my nose. And I would, that, I would, <laughs> I went on TV and, and they would ask me questions. And I would talk about it. This happened like twice, three times, maybe, you know. And I played my, played uh, the guitar. It was supposed to be a lute or, or some instrument, but it was a Martin archtop guitar. It was strange enough as it was. But I, gotta go. I had a good time. <laughs> you know, it was a fascinating place. It was. You remember I worked there for a couple of years. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I tried to write a commercial or two for you. That's right. Yeah. You hated them. Worst client I ever had. No, I'm kidding. 
Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Brilliant place. It was really marvelous. Yeah. yeah. So we're out off on the play. We're back on the song. Um, um, <laughs> we took a little check. detour there. Went to Manhattan and <laughs> back. Yeah. Very good. Oh, I was going to ask about the, you know, away from the song. Could the Fantastics play anymore with that rape song in it? Uh, Why not? I don't know. I mean, it's a classic, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a great song. It's a very, very theatrical little, in my mind, a very nice theatrical little piece. But yeah. it can it play in New Orleans? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they take a break and do a slow uh, song. It, if we put a tango rhythm to it. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we have to go to the Bolero. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well guys that's been nice uh oh by the way uh rick um doc uh, wrote and said he's uh he, he's got a business deal tonight and he can't make it and he didn't make it of course obviously and um yeah that's it see what the oh steve saunders i will put it in there he's going to perform in cincinnati and tom mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah see if you yeah, can good does Jason have some? We asked. Yeah. Said, no, no. Not, not that I'm ready to share. I'm actually getting all my music ready to upload online uh, and have a lot of things that are almost finished. You know, put a drum track to Not Creek, redid some vocals, redid some songs, mm -hmm. but uh, nothing like written, you know, fully shareable yet. So maybe. Are you going to go do an open stage? Um. At, at some point, but you know, right now I'm just trying to get all the you know existing songs I've had, just trying to get them sort of recorded the way I, I want them to be mm -hmm. uh, before I like put them up on SoundCloud or YouTube or um, and then get them on Spotify and things like that. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's just you know it takes a long time building a website today. It's just a lot of you know doing the the non musical parts of the, the music business. So uh, nothing, unfortunately, to share right now, but um, we have some soon. I have been practicing, you know, playing some live stuff and stuff too. So getting ready. Uh, once I get that down, I'm getting ready to start playing out. Um, but before I start playing out, I want to have something when someone says, hey, that's great music, that they can go and find it versus right now where it's nowhere to be found, mm -hmm. except for maybe mm -hmm. finding this group. Um, so anyway, uh, just I've been working on that. So don't have anything to share.